Good afternoon, everyone. This is the Mini Ice Age Rundown from May 1st to May 7th, 2017. The influence of galactic cosmic rays inducing more cloud cover on the planet is well known with the relationship. Taking a look through the last 2,000 years across Asia, those high points are grand solar minimums with more cloud cover. We see the same thing across South America. Over the last year and a half, galactic cosmic rays increased 12.5%, and this next solar cycle 25 is expected to increase 19% more on top of that. And the inverse relationship is very apparent on the amount of galactic cosmic rays penetrating our atmosphere with the strength of the solar cycle. So we should look for signs. If it's increasing the amount of cloud cover on our planet, we should see lots more rain, record rains, rains in mysterious and unusual places. Kalahari Desert goes from brown to green. Miraculous, it's called. Record snowstorms across the Sahara, blanketing the dunes. Record floods in Saudi Arabia. Look how deep, that's meters deep. Record-breaking snowfall across California, transforming what was desert into a super bloom of flowers. Even Death Valley blooming, and the wildflowers are something to behold. Record rains in Uluru around Alice Springs, the desert of Australia. The outback turning into lush, green desert landscapes. That was all brown, now it's green. So much water. Prehistoric shrimp are emerging from the ground, the shield shrimp. Also turtles that lie dormant in dry soils emerging. The driest place on our planet, the Atacama Desert, floral wonderland. These intertropical convergence zones shift during grand solar minimums. They push further south. Another indication in Southeast Asia, record floods across Thailand during the dry season. Driest part of the year, record floods. And then we see last year the same thing in China, record floods. These are the indicators you need to look for as the grand solar minimum intensifies. Climate change protest canceled. Too much snow raging blizzard across the same area as Colorado. Claimed as one of the heaviest late spring snowstorms on record. 39 inches across Utah, Wyoming, and Colorado. Record snows from Kansas to Texas. How much snow fell in the area where they have the global warming protest? Oh, about 12 inches. Al Gore now wants 15 trillion U.S. dollars to fight off apocalyptic two-degree temperature rise. All put forth by the Energy Transitions Commission. Wait, the IPCC didn't work. None of its forecasts came right. So now they're changing the name like they changed global warming into climate change. Now they're changing the IPCC into the ETC. If you hadn't heard the news, the United States just lost a majority of its wheat crop due to cold ice, snow, heavy wind, and out of season blizzards. This goes right into that precarious position where we are entering the mini ice age. These smaller producers adding enough to where a major producer like the United States and Ukraine going to be going down this year in production levels. Can we keep up? We're right at that teeter-totter edge. The FAO continues to tell us that we are going to go into record after record. That would be the case if we were going to continue on the status quo with our weather patterns. Now everything's in flux. I truly believe this is the first major loss of the new mini ice age. From this point forward, my time forecast for crop losses stands. 2019, let's take a look at a full rundown here. Areas of losses across the planet that the media is not talking about. Some areas are gaining, of course. Other areas are losing, but is it in balance? Let's take a look at China, the Ukraine, the EU with its last Weeks, plural, absolutely what happened in the United States equivalent, just wiping out of crops left, right, and center. Take a look down in South America. How about Australia? And where is the balance in there? Hope I can bring you the best detailed analysis. You need to get ready. This is it. It's started, and it's going to intensify from this point forward. What we considered stable growing zones, normal planting and harvesting times, that's all gone. The sun is repeating its 400-year cycle. 
Following on the heels of the gargantuan wheat crop loss in the United States, world avocado prices doubling, reduced harvest, phenomenal prices in Europe for South African avocados, limited availability of lemons due to too much rain in California, those back-to-back -back cold fronts sweeping across Europe, all the measures to mitigate the losses in vain. Bosnia, Herzegovina, apples, pears, plums, strawberries covered in three feet of snow. Belgium hit 75 to 80 percent of the apple crop gone. Germany, cherries and strawberries, 10,000 hectares. Remember, hectares, 2.4 acres approximately. Italy, millions of tomato plants and a large percentage of their vineyards. This is what's still coming down across Italy. Poland, 70 to 80 percent of its fruits are gone, specifically cherries. Poland blanketed over the last storms as well. Spain, 10,000 hectares damaged. After wheat soaring the most on record with this freakish cyclonic blizzard that ripped across the central United States, beef prices rising, the highest, the fastest ever recorded, absolute vertical increases in price. That is for live cattle and feeder cattle both limit up stop trades. This follows right on the heels of wheat soaring the most on record as well. Last week, Kansas Wheat Commission says they lost the crop. Nobody's talking about oats. They're up as well. Taking a look at the winter wonderland across the grain belt in the United States, they went out to do an assessment in the first day of the Kansas wheat tour, muddy fields and snow. Second day, they couldn't even get out the first hundred miles of Colby, Kansas because of snow. Temperatures are out for April 2017, although it was 0 0.27 degrees warmer than the previous month in March. When we compare it with 2016 April, it's actually 0.44 C cooler, which means it's definitely not going to be the warmest year ever. The worst floods to strike in American history, transportation, highways cut off. The storm had an unusual hook into it there from the satellite loop. You can see then it then started spinning in a counterclockwise motion, dumping snow patterns, something unusually strange. They haven't seen snow dumps that has wiped out literally 40% of the wheat crop in the United States. Any types of transportation, whether that be barge traffic, trains, highways, currently unusable. Rivers cresting to all time highs. All these locations that you see a dot record flooding and it's moving east north carolina not immune either can it be explained absolutely yes the increase in galactic cosmic rays during this new grand solar minimum that's intensifying svensmark and CERN both showing more cosmic rays mean more cloud cover between 15 and 18,500 feet just from march 2015 to august 2016 a 12 and a half percent increase but this next solar cycle 25 is set to increase 19% on top of that. So you would start to look for unusual rainfall totals to verify this is happening. And this is what an atmospheric compression event covering a quarter of a continent looks like. Welcome to the new grand solar minimum. This is going to intensify from this point forward.